Good news for people with savings. Interest rates are rising again, at least in the US. But investors are also watching in case those rate rises go faster than expected. Rapidly rising interest rates are poison for stock markets. Therefore, it might be useful to use a part of your portfolio to hedge against rising interest rates. Interest rates have reached historical lows, but now there are increasing signs that the abnormal era of low rates is ending and inflation is also picking up again. The central banks could therefore be forced to turn the interest rates screw up more quickly. One man's meat is another man's poison. He's happy with the current situation. German finance minister Wolfgang Schäuble can borrow money on the capital market at zero interest. In this upside-down world, it's investors who pay interest for lending money. And it's the saver who suffers. Whether overnight or fixed deposits, adjusted for inflation, they quietly and unobtrusively lose their purchasing power. Giles Keating, president of the Wirtstein Institute in London, how could we get into this situation? Well, it's because the central banks around the world have cut interest rates to low or in Europe to negative levels. And they've done it for good reasons to try and protect the, the economy and protect financial institutions from deflation. But it does mean we've now got these crazily low rates. And with what effects? Well, if you look at German government bond yields, they've actually gone negative briefly a few months ago. Um, and even now they're trading very close to zero. And really they are pretty well at the lowest levels throughout history. In fact, you can even look at a chart compiled from various different countries going back more or less 5,000 years. And you can see that yields have never been as low as they have been in recent months. Now, this trend could come to an end as the fight against deflation seems to be successful. Inflation is picking up again faster than expected. In the USA, prices rose 2.7% in February year on year, the largest increase in five years. In the Eurozone, price increases slowed down again slightly in March. The inflation rate was 1.5%, following a year on year increase of 2% in February. In Germany, the same picture. In March, prices only increased by 1.6%, as opposed to 2.2% the previous month. Very Plagnol, Wertstein Institute Fellow in Paris, just looking to the US, would not the rates of interest have to rise faster? Well, I think the increase in long bond yields is long overdue. And I believe that the 10-year yields will slowly rise to the 3% level as the economy shows further sign of momentum. The Fed is somehow behind the curve and there is a very strong majority of members now agreeing that there should be at least two more increases this year after the one we had in March. Of course, the Eurozone has not reached the point yet, but what is with the rates in the Eurozone? Has the European Central Bank to follow the Fed? Well, not immediately. Um, the spread between the uh, Bund and the US 10T node has widened to 200 basis points, which is about 2% and not seen since the early 1990s. I think as the ECB continues its bond purchase program at least until the end of this year, uh, this will be the case. And all the more so that uh, there is no assurance of a German Bund this year because the German government is running a surplus. Robert Rutman in Zurich, the primus with a budget surplus. But globally, the issue of debt is one thing to talk about when interest rates are rising, right? That's right. If we look at this chart, we actually see that over the last 30 years, we see that interest rates have come down significantly, which has also served as an invitation for governments and corporates and even private households to take on more debt which is exactly what they have done. Now, this is not a problem right now because interest rates still hover at relatively low levels, but if they rise, it could become a challenge. But when the interest rates are rising, will this be a great risk? Yes, especially if rates rise too fast. In that case, both governments and corporates could have difficulty servicing their debt which would actually stifle both public and private investment spending. If this happened, 
happens, potential economic growth could be limited. Coming again to Giles Keating in London, do you agree with Robert? Well, this could indeed be negative for stock markets, especially if rates go up a lot faster than people expect. But so often in financial markets, a risk creates an opportunity. And that is the case here. Those rising rates can actually be turned into a positive investment opportunity, hedging against them. Of course, in the end, nobody knows for sure, including the Wirtstein Institute, how quickly interest rates will rise. But it could happen more quickly than many believe. If you want to hedge your portfolio against rising interest rates, add rising rates to your portfolio.